Here are some of the best Super Souls as of right now in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Question of the day, what do you think is the best Super Soul as of right now in Xenoverse 2? Or just what is your favourite? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, let's make this the ultimate final battle and I've cast aside everything for this. So there's going to be a few entries towards the top of this list that are I guess double entries because they are like the same super soul or very similar effects it'll make more sense and I might as well put them in and briefly talk about them so yeah the let's make this the ultimate final battle super soul and the I've cast aside everything for this these are look look if you're going to be doing any of the weekly online raids in Xenoverse 2 run either of these super souls the let's make this the ultimate final battle super soul is actually a raid reward so we don't know when it's going to come back so if you ask in the comments the answer is we don't know <laughs> we just don't know and we only tend to find out about a day before the raid itself actually returns so the i've cast aside everything else for this is a rather good alternative so these well the first super soul will activate 60 seconds after the match starts making it not that useful even though i do run it in player or well, online matches against other players and when it does activate it's going to give you, well, you your teammates and all of your enemies so everyone right an extra extra large increase to everything to strike damage and to basic attacks and key attacks it's great it really is the limit burst is attack increase which is why it's fantastic to use in online raids once the super soul activates because it's also going to give your teammates as i've already mentioned a massive attack increase therefore making it easier for you to get more points per raid run and again an alternative super soul is the topo i've cast aside everything for this which activates straight away but the limit burst is defense increase with super armor rather than attack increase with key regeneration but again the i guess switch off for that or maybe not switch off but the what's the word the compensation i guess is that this will activate right at the start instead of 60 seconds in and this will give you just you an extra extra large increase to all of your attacks but it will give you a medium attack increase or rather you receive a medium amount more damage as well as it reduces your movement speed by medium amount key regen and stamina regen all by medium amount which is why it's perfect for raids because that's not really going to matter you can get the topo i've cast aside everything for the super soul from parallel quest 145 the other world challenger as a random drop this is a parallel quest from dlc 11 the legendary pack one update it's the dlc that added topo as a playable character as well as pycon number nine leave the rest to me and a monster no I'm a devil. Super Soul. These are very useful because these Super Souls will give you max key at the absolute very start of the match. So with that said, the Leave the Rest to Me will also give you an attack increase limit burst and the a monster Super Soul will give you super armor. Honestly, if I don't have one of these for build, but I have the other one, it doesn't make a difference. It really doesn't. I pretty much only use these Super Souls just to get max key at the very start. So I don't have to go for a charge skill. And I can go for like an Awoken. Maybe if I'm running like a heavy key consumption build with skills like Blaster Ball, Super Key Explosion, etc, etc, etc. These two Super Souls are fantastic. If you have them both, it's just going to be a case of, well, do you want to have a Limit Burst that gives you Super Armor? or a limit burst that gives you attack increase with, of course, key regen. I don't have much to say about that. That's why they're this high on the list. Number nine, fantastic super souls. Just absolutely great for utility to some extent more than anything else. Now, to get the leave the rest to me, super soul you get from a random drop on Parallel Quest 131, which is from DLC 8, Extra Pack 4, the DLC that added Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta and Full Power Super Saiyan Brody from the Dragon Ball Super Brody movie. And the a monster, the Brody I'm a Monster, no I'm a Devil, or whatever it's called, Super Soul. You get it as a random drop from Parallel Quest 47. So if you don't have the DLC, you can still get the Brody Super Soul. 
both great in my opinion. Number eight, watch your tongue and very well, I shall return time. A Wiz and Vados Super Soul, rather nice. So they both have the same effect in the sense of you need to get a perfect block for the limit burst to activate and these activate as long as you can, you know, perfect block. There's no limit. So with the Watch Your Tongue Super Soul, when you get a perfect block, you will recharge a small amount of key and a small amount of stamina. Rather nice. And as you can probably tell, with the Vados, no, we just spoke about Vados. With the Wiz Super Soul, when you get a perfect block, you will recharge a little bit of your health. This is one of my main go-to Super Souls. I run this on Kingsman Jones. He sends his regards in the comments of the video if you will, thank you ever so much. And the limit burst on both of these is auto perfect blocks. Now again, you can get through that just by going for a grab, but man, these two super souls, and in my opinion, especially with very well, I shall return time super soul, very overpowered, or maybe not overpowered, but very powerful if you know how to use them. I know people do tend to spam block a lot, like they mash it to get the perfect blocks. But if you just can power block anyway, and you run these either of these super souls, it's really going to complement your build for the most part, regardless of what build you're actually using. To get the Watch Your Tongue Super Soul, you can get it from Parallel Quest 106, which is from DLC Pack 2, the DLC that added Vados and God of Destruction Champa as playable characters, uh, DB Super Pack 2, I believe it's officially called, and for the very well I Shall Return Time Super Soul, you can get it in the base game from the item shop in Canton City. It's quite expensive, for, for the most part at least. So with that said, if you don't see the Wiz Super Soul in the item shop, up, all you need to do is progress or rather at this point just complete the main story mode for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Fantastic Super Souls. Number seven, before creation comes ruin and you're just pieces in a game. This is the last entry for this specific list that is a double entry and it'll make sense why in a moment. So these both activate 30 seconds after the battle starts. So it doesn't make it as, I guess, intrusive or invasive or what have you as the, let's make this the ultimate final battle Super Soul which I mentioned earlier on in this video. So for before creation comes ruin, it'll give you an extra large increase to your key skills and the you'll just pieces in the game super soul will give you an extra large increase to your strike skill. So it depends what you're running. If you're running a key build, run the beer super soul. If you're running a strike build, you can use the champer one. I just think these are very like safe super souls, if that makes sense, in the sense of Look, if you just want to have a super soul that gives you a large increase to key or strike, you can use this. You can't mess it up, right? It's fine. Uh, to get the Before Creation Comes Ruined Super Soul, you can get it from Parallel Quest 63. So it's a base game Super Soul. And for the You're Just Pieces in the Game Super Soul for your strike skills, you get it from Parallel Quest 106, which is, again, a DLC 2 uh, Parallel Quest, which is, well, DLC 2, the official name is DB Super Pack 2. Look, it's the, if you if you go and buy it, like individually, it's the DLC that has Vados and Champa as playable characters and on the cover of previously mentioned DLC. Number six, power, a lot of power. It's great. Oh yes, it is Krillin. Okay, so this gives you an extra extra large increase to both your key and an extra extra large increase to your stamina this is an interesting soup soul it's great i'd recommend getting it if you don't already have it it is a dlc one which i'll go over which dlc it is just momentarily stay tuned and leave a like and subscribe okay but if you want to run a build where you can to some extent have m maybe five or even all six stats maxed out don't put any points in key or stamina. Run this super soul instead and then put the points in the other you know, stats. Health, basic attack, strike skills or key skills. Probably not both of the uh, key or strike because really you should just stick to one of them because just optimize it right, and to make a better QQ bang until if they ever make it so we can have like an excellent or a perfect plus five stack QQ bang. If they do that, I'll cover it. Don't worry. I don't think they will, but who knows? 
But yeah, running this Super Soul, I mean, you can just see how much key and stamina this gives you. It's absolutely incredible. Now, again, the Limit Burst, I believe, is stamina and health regen. So you do need to be careful because, yes, you will recover stamina and health with that specific Limit Burst. But you do also receive significantly more damage while that specific Limit Burst you know, is active. You can get this from Parallel Quest 134. Like I said earlier, it is a DLC Parallel Quest. And it's from DLC 9, the DL, um, Ultra Pack 1, which is the DLC that added Super Saiyan God Vegeta, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, and Rubrian as playable characters. And this Parallel Quest as well, you can also get Ultimate Charge as well as Burst Charge. So a pretty useful Parallel Quest in all fairness. Yeah, if you don't have the Super Soul, I'd recommend getting it and just playing around with it because you never know. I know, and you know, I do tend to use this from time to time. Great Super Soul. Number five, Booze reached full power. So if you're a regular on the channel, you know that I have a Super Saiyan God build that is based around this Super Soul. Because Super Saiyan God gives you a massive increase to your basic attacks, of course, if you're Saiyan. And if you are Saiyan, you have higher basic attacks anyway, like naturally. And this Super Soul gives you an extra, extra large increase to all of your you know, stats, all your damage. The thing is though, for this to happen, you have to have max key. So if you have max key, then go for an attack. Only the first hit of that attack is going to do damage. And if you're running a skill that is a one you know, hit skill, like Gigantic Roar, with this Super Soul, it's just not going to do anything. So run this with basic attack in mind. To unlock this Super Soul, you get it from, again, it's an online raid. So when is that raid coming back? We don't know. Subscribe to the channel as you'll find out because I do weekly raid videos. So do make sure you subscribe so you'll know when it's back. It was back somewhat recently, so I'm not expecting it back for at least another year. I'm just not. Uh, yeah, but with that said, if you want to know what a good build is for like a sane, Super Saiyan God sane build to use, on the screen right now, you can see my main full power Super Saiyan God build in case you want to copy it. I mean, the damage... The basic attack damage that this build does because of this Super Soul and with Super Saiyan God, it's undescribable. It's it's so good. It's so, so, so powerful. It really is. Number four. Now then, time for another delightful hunt. This is my main Super Soul. This is what I use on my main build. It's an Android 21 Super Soul of all things. So yeah, it will, at the very start of the match, it will reduce the stamina of all of your opponents. Again, if it's in a play match, oh, sorry, not play match, if it's in like a raid or in like um, expert mission, parallel quest, what have you, I don't believe it activates. So this is like online against other players, PVP, player versus player. It's gonna just like slice their stamina pretty much in half by an extra large amount. And it will temporarily lower the damage of all the opponents by medium amount for a certain amount of time. And then after a certain amount of time passes, I believe it's 30 seconds, it's going to drain an extra large amount of all of your opponent's key, and it's going to temporarily boost, unfortunately, temporarily boost their damage. So there is that, but it's fine. That, that last one's fine. Yeah, I just love this for one reason and one reason only. At the very start of the match, you can just instantly apply the pressure and just destroy them because again if they only have let's say they have 10 bars of key norm sorry 10 bars of stamina rather normally i think they'll have maybe about five or six right so it's like good luck and then for them to get all their key uh, all their stamina back they'll probably have to go for some sort of stamina reset or get their stamina broken and by the time that happens um yeah then Good luck. I do somewhat have a feeling this is going to get nerfed in the future. I'm not entirely sure, but at least as of right now, as of the Mastered Ultra Instinct Festival of Universes update, the latest update as of this recording and hopefully upload, it, it's not. It's just it's just a great super, so it really is. Yeah, to get this, it is from a again a paid DLC Pedal Quest. Halo Quest 140, Spirit Bomb Away, I believe it's called, and this is from DLC 10, Ultra Pack 2, it's the DLC that gives you Majub and Android 21 as playable characters. I can't recommend this Super Soul enough. Number 3, the Elder Kai Super Soul. <laughs> Great, awful name. So yeah, um, <laughs> this is so broken if you have a specific build or setup. So this will give you 
auto health regen. Yeah. <laughs> but with that said, to activate it, you do need to have a reinforcement skill, like let's say Lovey Cyclone, a fighting pose, what have you, and you need to be in an awoken skill. So you could run this on like purification or turn giant, but just run this on like potential unleashed or beast or super saiyan blue or what have you. And it's great. And if you have super armor, you can basically have infinite key, infinite stamina, and infinite health regen because infinite key is basically a charge skill, burst charge, maximum charge, um, ultra charge. Don't run divinity unleashed because that's classed as a power up for this. And you can go for a re like another reinforcement skill to activate or rather to prolong the effects of the previous one, such as do or die or love the cyclone. And you'll and if you do that and you go into the walking skill, it doesn't matter which order, you're gonna get constant health regen constantly as long as you have it activated to so just go for love the cyclone every 20, 30 or so seconds to reset the timer. This is so broken, it really is. <laughs> so you can basically have. Yeah, you know, like I said, infinite key stamina and health regen, like constant, and with stamina as well, just run charge key wave if you have space. And if you have fighting poles K <laughs> with Lovey Cyclone or Do or Die, you can get super armor. So you will still receive damage, but you won't stagger. So just stamina break them or make them basically go for enough vanishes and or evasives so they have no stamina to protect themselves, heavy stamina break, and just unload the damage on them. To get this, this is a base game, Super Soul. You have to go to the Margin Boo Time Rift with all the little margins in his little health ring around. I believe you have to feed them until they turn yellow. There's yellow, red, and blue. One of them is for... I think just random material items. I think the other one is for outfits. And then the other one, which I believe is yellow, I think is for super souls. There's a few super souls you can get, but this is a random drop. So just when they turn yellow, just calm them down. So they stay yellow when you feed them. And eventually you'll get this super soul. I've got a ton of them. It's not hard to get, but it is just a little bit time consuming. Number two, thank you, Dragon Balls. This is such a, it's so powerful. This Super Soul activates the very first time per match you use an ultimate. It doesn't matter if you are successful or what have you. As soon as you click the input, this Super Soul activates and it will give you a large recovery to your health and an extra, extra large recovery to your key and an extra, extra large recovery to your stamina. This has helped me so much online against other players, you know, trash talks, what have you, because again, when you use it, you're going to get like a ton of key health and stamina back. It's so, it's great. It's powerful. It's awesome. Now, the Limit Burst is also health, regen, and stamina. So you'll get your health and stamina back on top of it. But again, you do receive more damage. So do just keep that in mind there. You guys know this Super Soul. I don't really have much else to say about it. To unlock it, you have to complete the uh, Goku and Oob or Majub mission in Canton City. Talk to Majub in Canton City next to, well, in the World Tournament area. And I forget which of the mission it is. I think it's from the I Want a Serious Battle. I forget which one it is. Do keep in mind, it is a random drop, so you could do it 10 times in a row and not get it, or you could do it 10 times in a row and get it 10 times in a row. But yeah, I don't have much to say about this. You guys know what this Super Soul does. It's absolutely phenomenal. And number one, you need to be more careful the Gamma 2 Super Soul. Yeah, stamina is pretty much the most important thing in Xenoverse 2, you know, especially against fighting other players, because if you have no stamina and you can't limit burst, or you've already limit burst, your health is left wide open. So you need stamina to protect yourselves, which is why this Super Soul, as of right now, and I do fully expect it at some point to be nerfed, uh, that's why this Super Soul is so incredible. It's broken and overpowered. It's not that it's good, it's broken. <laughs> also, it changes your basic key bus to... Uh, the Gamma Blue Beam. That, that's cool. You can still key count with it. Fair enough. So yeah, this has two different effects and they only activate once per effect per match. So when you get your guard, and it doesn't matter which order it happens in, by the way, but once you get your guard broken, either by a stamina break, having your guard broken by like blocking chip damage or you going for a cheeky manual stamina reset, as in you vanish or use an evasive, then you dash to reset it this will give you all of your stamina back. <laughs> now, it does say 
but it just says he recovers from the guard break. So it doesn't matter how much stamina you have to begin with, it will recover 100% of all of your stamina. And the second effect is when your opponent goes for an Ultima, the first Ultima in the fight, again, even if they fail, so you could have max stamina and this will still activate, making it a bit useless for you, but it will recover an extra, extra large amount of your stamina, yes? an extra extra large amount it's in, it's it's insane it really is like i think that's like eight nine ten bars so if you have let's say 10 bars of stamina to begin with or maybe 12 or 13 with this super soul you essentially have double that right off the bat because again guard broken and it instantly recharges right it's perfect it's it's just it's just it's just, it's just broken honestly like i know I'm, I'm just like blabbering about it but it's i don't think if you don't have this i don't think you understand how good this super soul truly truly is and to get this you get this from Pelo quest 157 as a random drop so yes this is a dlc Pelo quest but the DLC you get it from is the Hero of Justice Pack 1 DLC. It's the DLC that added Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 as playable characters, as well as the transforming Dragon Ball Super Superhero Gohan from base form to Mystic Potential Unleashed, whatever you want to call it. If you don't have this Super Soul, you need it.